Hi guys! In this video, we are going to talk about how to add products and product variation in Shopee. Now let's get right into it. Now the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to open our Shopee app or we are going to go to the Shopee website and we are going to log in into our account. If we don't have any account yet, we need to sign up. Now this is our Shopee interface and once we are on Shopee, then we are going to click on the seller center here at the upper left corner of our interface and we are just going to click on seller center and it's going to lead us into this page. So as you can see at the left corner of our interface, we can see the shipment, the order, the product, marketing center, finance, data, growth, seller, programs, customer service, shop, setting, and help. So this is actually our seller center. So this is where we can track everything in our shop. Now, how are we going to add product to our shop? So we're just going to click on products and under products, we are going to click add new product. So we are just going to fill in the basic information that we are going to need to put into our page or into our shop. So we're going to start with our product images. So we can add up to nine images for our shop. So we're just going to click on this icon here. And so it's going to open our file and we are just going to upload an image here. So these images, I got them from Google or from uh, Shopee. So we're just going to click on this. So if you want to add another image, then we can do that. So we're just going to click on this one. So just take note of the file format because some of them will not be able to be uploaded here. So we're just going to click another image. So let's try this one. Okay. It's good to go. And we're going to add another image. So let's say we have three um, jeans here. And you can impress buyers by adding three to four images for fashion products. You can do that. You can also add a video, but in this part here, it's optional. But take note of the requirements for the video. It should be, again, the maximum is 30 megabytes. Resolution should not exceed 1280 by 1280 pixels. And the duration is just 10 seconds to 60 seconds. Format is MP4. And here's a note, you can publish this listing while the video is being processed. The video will be shown in listing once successfully processed. So again, the adding of the product video is just optional. But for the image, you need to add an image. For the product name, so let's say we're just going to add here baggy jeans. And as you can see, the product is too short. So we're going to input at least 20 characters there and then we are going to select category so here is a rec recommended categories already because shop is going to do that especially if they already have your product name so it's very obvious here it's baggy jeans so we're just going to click on women's uh, women clothes and then jeans so for the product description we need to add a description to our products Okay, so we're just going to write this one as the description of our product. And then for the specification, we are going to need to fill in more attributes to boost the exposure of our product. So whenever the buyers or the Shopee users are going to search for certain products, then our products will basically come out to their search item. So for the brand, we're going to click on no brand. So if it has a brand, then that's better. And for the style, so this is just basically street style. You can add a new another item. So let's say we're just going to put in basic, Korean, and there. And then for the material, so we're going to click on denim. And there we go, only that. And we are going to indicate if it's if it's for petite or not so we're just going to click yes because it's basically for petite women 
and then the country of origin so we can just in the may not indicate this part here for the pattern so we're just going to click plain so if it's for plus size we are just going to indicate yes or no so it's no it's not for plus size and then for the waist height this is going to be high waist season we may not we may indicate this one we may or may not indicate but anyway this is for summer bottoms fit type boyfriend fit flare regular skinny so we're just going to click on wide leg or we can indicate otherwise bottoms length this is full length or cropped others three-fourth it depends then for the sales information so this is where we are going to enable variation so we're just going to click on this so a variation one let's say for the uh, for example the color so we're going to indicate the color and then we're going to put blue so as you can see the names of the variation should be different options blue white So we're just going to put 26, 27, 28 there. We're going to add 25. For the variation list, so we are going to put the price, 250 pesos. That's for all of them. And we can click on apply to all. And then for the stocks, let's say we have five. And for the SKU, we may not indicate this one. So we can apply this to all or we can indicate this one. We're going to try to apply it to all. So we can indicate if this is uh, for wholesale. So we can add a price tier for that. And we can also add a size chart. So it will increase the exposure of our product. So we can click on this. For the shipping, so we're going to indicate the weight of our product. So let's say this is just one kilogram. So for the parcel size, there is a note that we need to fill in the dimensions accurately. Inaccurate or missing dimensions may result in additional shipping fee or failed delivery. If your item exceeds the maximum weight or parcel size limit, you may contact con customer service to add XTE logistics or other logistics provide provider as courier. So let's say for the width, it's 8 cm and then the length is 12 and then for the height, it's three. So actually this is just very random. So I just made this up. And then for the shipping fee, you can uh, choose your courier. You can click on Google Express. You can enable this one or standard local. But take note of the shipping fee of each courier. And then you can indicate if, it, if the item is pre-order. So if it's not, then you can click on no. So I will ship this out within two business days. And then for the condition, we are going to click used. And you can add your SKU here. So take note of the important things that are being highlighted here before again, we're going to save and publish. So at the upper left portion of our interface, as you can see, everything is filled out. The basic information, specification, sales information, shipping, and others. So everything is already good there. So we can already save and publish this one. So we're just going to click save and publish at the bottom right corner of our interface. And after that, Shopee is going to review your items, your products. And once it's approved, then you're good to go already. And there, that's how you can add products and product variation on Shopee. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to write them below and I will see you guys next time. Bye!